Hey everybody! Well, oh, get in there. Welcome to the channel. Ah, can't say anything else, but hey, Gary. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, my friend. This is Gary's Coyote, one of the first ones to come out for 2019. It's all finished. As you saw, I went ahead and I just recorded a bunch of little steps. Um, I do have some other videos that have come out before this that had a little bit of uh, what I was doing both with Gary's Coyote Works knife as well as some other knives, uh, the Coyotes. But um, I went ahead and I just tried to record what I was remembering to uh, uh, little steps and throughout the process of making your knife, Gary, and also all you other Coyotes. This video would be a really good um, uh, reference to see how your knives are made. Uh, both, I think I released the heat treat video already at the time of this uh, recording, as well as you might have seen something with, uh, like in Gary's video here, drilling the tangs, doing some grinding and stuff like that. Um, I might have even touched in on a grinding video, grinding uh, blade, you know, blade profiles and stuff. I might have used a, uh, a Coyote Works knife in that, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, January is already a blur. I, it's, it's nuts. I'm, I'm going crazy right now, guys. So. I do apologize. There's going to be sporadic video or something going out because when I have an opportunity or when I remember, I record a little something and then I throw it in the computer and it sits there for a bit. And then when I have time and I sit down and I remember, I try to edit a video to get it uploaded here to the channel. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that this video went out because I am wrapping up two Coyote Works knives actually. This one is Gary's. Gary was the first Coyote to ever join the club. Uh, Gary was the first person. I mean, Casey did that video and Gary was all on it. I want one. So uh, what we have here is the Coyote. Uh, this is the Olive Drab um, Canvas Micarta as well as the Olive Drab Kydex Sheath and the Blade Tech Tech Lock. Gary wanted the Olive Drab and Olive Drab which was perfect. Um, it's all oiled up. It gives it a nice dark look to it. As you guys seen in the video, form fitting everything. Sharpened and stropped to a thousand grit. Um, this is it's sharp, Gary, so be careful. As well as all you other guys that are, gals are getting coyotes. Um, careful, will you, please? Um, yeah, it's... Um, now, if the sheaths are getting a little tighter or something like that, I have a tendency of making them a little bit tighter than looser. It's I'd rather err on the side of caution. Um, if you do find your coyote works sheath a little bit too snug, maybe for your uh, liking, get the hair dryer, take a little patience, hit it with a hair dryer, go back and forth, uh, work it. Don't take the tech lock off. Leave that on there because when I fit the tech lock and it tightens on there, it actually it tightens the fit a little bit more. And then as you saw with Gary's, I just kind of fine tune it a little bit with the heat gun uh, to get it going. It's not going to fall out. As you saw, I'm shaking the thing like crazy. It's not going. Some of you might notice a little bit of a wiggle. I mean, there's, there's barely anything in there. But again, that's the material itself. Uh, try not to make this super tight. It's really easy to make these tight and you have a hell of a time pulling them out. So I would say if you get them, if you have a heat gun, put it on low and go back and forth with it. Uh, take the knife out and heat it up a little bit. Put the knife in and out, do those kind of things. But uh, it's more of a fine tuning at that point. Most of you are probably capable of doing that, that are watching this video, that have ordered a Coyote. Um, worst case scenario is if you think you can't do it and it's just something that you can't live with, then save your boxes, mail it back to me, and uh, we'll take care of it. Uh, according to boxes, now I'll put this, this video is going to be kind of long, so I'm sorry, but if you coyotes have your boxes and you save your box, and at any point in time you need your knife sharpened, mail it back to me. All you have to do is pay for shipping. I'll sharpen your knife for free, okay, if you don't have the ability. Uh, to answer another question, um, I think it was a Steve uh, that might have asked this question. Uh, one of the, I forgot the email. One of you re reached out to me about my Wicked Edge. You said you had a Wicked Edge. I set my Wicked Edge at 16 degrees. Let me take you in here. If you see that, I set it right at the 16 degree mark. Hopefully you get a light in there, if you guys can see that in there. Hopefully you see that. It's right there. Hopefully you'll get to see that if it's coming in okay. The light's kind of bad right here. Focus. So, uh... Let me see if we get the LED light. There we go, right there. So you can see that I have it set at the 16 degree angle. And that's what I'll strop my Wicked Edge at. Uh, every single knife gets that same angle. I've been doing that for the better part of a year. I do knock the, uh, um, 
I do knock off the edge, the, the, the profile on the grinder. I use Frankenstein back there and knock it off and then I take it 100 to 1000. It's been working great. This is Steve. Steve's knife has uh, got the, the grind knocked off of it. It's going on the Wicked Edge. And Gary and Steve's knives are going out before the end of January. So that is really cool. I'm super excited. Uh, so thank you all. Thank you all you coyotes. Yes, uh, they are going. I am making progress. It's just been really tough going. Um, I've had to basically push orders. No more orders if you're ordering something. Folks, you're not going to get a knife until probably October, the way it's going right now. Um, I'm actually this close to closing my books. I think Warrior Poet Society already put out of stock on their website. Um, so if you're a Warrior Poet Society uh, purchaser, um, I'm going. But the Coyote Works, these guys, they all sold, as well as a bunch of other people. Uh, before I got a couple of orders in, in the middle of January, I already had 20-some orders ahead of you. So that's why the website said six to eight months before delivery. That is not a lie. I have a lot of stuff going on in here. I have 30-some knives right now, as well as a bunch of uh, things that people have requested um, that are customers that were working on new designs, and hopefully this builds up. Uh, hopefully a lot of neat, exciting things for CK Knife and Tool I'm, I'm anxious to share with you guys, but uh, we've also had a lot of family things come up and are pulling me in a bunch of different directions. So no excuses, just what I'm doing, and believe me, I am I'm not sleeping as much as I'm working. I'll put it that way. So, uh, suffice to say, Gary, thank you very much. Again, everybody else in the Coyote Clan, thank you again. Casey, um, thank you. And on behalf of Casey and myself, to Gary, thank you for the support. And Gary, keep an eye out for your knife. I'm pretty sure you're going to get it before February. Have a good one, gang. Take care.